So guys, now we will try to install PHP My Admin under Ubuntu. First, we will need uh, Apache server. We'll type sudo apt install Apache two, and we'll wait for the installation to complete. Then we'll install MySQL server. So we'll type sudo apt install MySQL server. Okay. So the Apache will be for serving our PHP MyAdmin. So PHP MyAdmin will be a front-end interface of our MySQL uh, server. Okay, we can test uh, in our browser whether the Apache works. So we'll type localhost or this address. And we see that this is the default page of the Apache. So the web server works. Now let's uh, make sure that Apache understands uh, and uh, interprets PHP because that's uh, what uh, phpMyAdmin uh, is using as a primary language. Let's see how we can install the support. We'll type sudo apt install php, then lib apache2 uh, mod php, and then php mysql. And uh, let me explain a little bit. We're installing the php interpreter, then we're installing the interpreter which Apache will load up as a module while opening our pages in order to interpret uh, PHP pages, dynamic pages, and then also we will ensure connection between the MySQL and the uh, PHP. So that's why we are installing those uh, uh, three packages. Okay, we continue with the installation. And now we can test whether we can interpret uh, PHP files. Uh, for this, we'll go to the directory var www.html and here we see this index.html uh, file. Now, actually, this is our uh, default page uh, we are running, so we can uh, just remove this file okay, with sudo and then we'll just type uh, nano index.php. So we can edit and create this file and here we can type php echo hello and then we save this file and we see we don't have permissions uh, to write this file. Let's see what's the problem. We see that uh, the HTML and the www directory are owned uh, by a root and the group of root will fix this so in order to be able to write files uh, here so inside of our www directory let's say this will be our website and we can type uh, sudo chown and here we'll use our user uh, current user so uh, we'll be assigning uh, our current user as a group and an owner of uh, this directory so type uh, the directory html and minus r for having all the subdirectories and files included chown is the command and now uh, if we take a look we see that the current user is an owner of uh, the html directory uh, with nano we can write the index.php file and now when we try to save, uh, we see that there is no problem in the saving. We can go to our browser and again run this uh, same address and we see that our PHP code is interpreted. All right, for now the things works. We have to fine tune a little bit the MySQL. We go back to the terminal and we will type uh, sudo MySQL secure installation. So we were asked uh, several questions about uh, our installation and configuration of the MySQL. Okay, we will not use uh, additional password checking for now. And we will set up the password. Let's say it will be root. We can remove anonymous users. And we will not disallow remote uh, root login. Mm, we can remove the test database and we will reload all the privileges we already set. 
So we can type now sudo mysql and we'll be able to enter directly into our database. Uh, but for the PHP, in order to connect to the uh, MySQL, we'll have to change uh, some uh, permissions. Let's see the databases. And uh, we have a MySQL database. And here we'll use uh, this database. Let's see the tables inside. And uh, let's see what's inside of the user table. Okay, it's not very readable, but uh, we have uh, here our privileges. And uh, actually we would like with the following line to set up a special uh, identification uh, method which is the old one with uh, a normal password uh, which will be password uh, so every time we are uh, trying to uh, log in inside of the mysql we'll be able to do so with uh, the string of password this is needed uh, for our php my admin later to be able to log in to the mysql server so we change this and we can exit uh, the mysql server so if we type mysql and we enter with the user root now with the password we should be able to enter inside uh, of uh, the mysql client and now uh, actually we are ready to install the phpMyAdmin, so we'll just type sudo apt install phpMyAdmin and uh, we see that we have no installation uh, candidate. Okay, in this distribution, uh, because we are using uh, uh, Ubuntu 19.10, there is still uh, not available this uh, phpMyAdmin as a package, so we can try using Composer to install it. Let's uh, try uh, first installing Composer. So type sudo apt install composer and uh, afterwards uh, we'll install phpMyAdmin via the composer. Alright, so again we'll repeat composer create project phpMyAdmin and automatically composer will download packages and configure them for us. So now we see that we need uh, certain libraries to be installed uh, for the PHP MyAdmin to work. So we need uh, XML, curl. All right, let's try to install them one by one. sudo apt install PHP XML. Let's install PHP zip for now. And then again, we'll run our installation. probably some more packages we need to install but that's the normal process you should not worry uh, if such thing happen we see that uh, the php mine directory is uh, not empty we can remove it okay again we'll run the command and now we're missing the curl extension okay we'll install it right away We'll just type sudo apt install php curl and this should satisfy the requirements of the composer once again we're trying to create the project and remove the directory beforehand okay for now the installation goes uh, well now we can go to our browser and just type slash php my admin okay this should forward us to the php my admin here we will use root and password which we already set during our mysql installation our databases are here we can browse through them and uh, php my admin uh, works so that's it guys if you enjoyed the information you can subscribe to the channel